I mean, can we please just have a moment and get into my shirt? Look at this, look at this. Yes, yes, yes. I love it, love it. As a little girl, I was obsessed with Barbies. I love Barbie and I never had a Barbie that looked like this. I think I might buy one for my beauty room because this is dope, the most banging Barbie I've ever seen in my life. Welcome back to my channel for today's look. We are doing this simple Valentine's Slay look. I am digging and loving it. Featuring the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette, one of my favorite palettes I've been using recently. This look isn't just specifically Valentine's Day, all right? You can wear this look anytime that you want. To work, going out, date night, whatever you feel. So if you like looks like these and you are not already, please make sure you are subscribed. I'm Amber, I do simple everyday wearable looks and if you don't like simple everyday wearable looks you should probably still subscribe to me anyway because your subscription feed is probably full of cut creases and you might be tired of seeing that just kidding either way subscribe let's get into the video all right my lips are so dried out right now I was taking mucinex and allergy medicine all last week because the allergies were real it got up to 75 degrees here trees started blooming and my medicine just sucked the life out of me I was dry so I feel a thousand times better and guess what we are back down to a whopping 43 degrees welcome to the south y'all <laughs> all right so I'm just using my bite beauty agave lip mask some people don't like this they say it's too heavy I hate lip products that feel slippery but they have no hydration qualities this Bomb. All right, going right on in with some concealer. I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter in Dark Golden because I want my under eyes to be nice and covered. I got a little too much there. I love this. Whenever I want to be like just super, super full coverage, this is the concealer I go for. It is matte, it does dry down fast, but I don't have any issues with it on my skin. Now, if you are someone that has drier skin or drier under eyes, you might not like this and something else about this product. If you do get it and you're using it, use it as much as you can because I feel like this product, the longer you just let it sit on your vanity, it does. It dries out fast. I experienced that the first time I bought mine. I basically, I used the majority of it. I probably could have gotten definitely a couple more wears out of it, but it just became so dry. And the expiration on this is six months anyway. So I think use it within four months of opening because it will dry down on you. See a huge difference? And I like to focus most of the concealer in the inner corner. I really wish people would stop drawing the big triangles. It's like, why are we bringing our concealer all the way down here if there's nothing to conceal? Why are we bringing our concealer all the way over here if there's nothing to conceal? You know what I mean? It's a waste of product and while that might, and I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do with their makeup, so let me say that, but it's like, that might look fantastic in photos. In fact, it does look fantastic in photos and on camera, but in real life, which is what I do my makeup for and when I'm working on clients, is always for real life situations. That doesn't look the best. And I know the way that I do my makeup, it's gonna look good in camera and in person. I feel like that's where it counts the most in person. I know y'all are like, oh my gosh, she's got on this full coverage concealer with no foundation. Hold please, I'm coming. <laughs> All right, now I need to spot conceal. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Locket Cream Concealer and I am just going to spot conceal. We're not doing liquid foundation today. We're doing powder foundation today because that has been my jam. And go ahead and lightly set up under the eye. Since I'm using all nighter, I'm not going to use my, well, let me see. I retract my statements. Kat Von D lock it. Oh yeah, just a little bit, it's fine. And this is the best setting brush. I have my brush video coming soon. I know quite a few of you have been asking me about that. It is coming, I've just had a bunch of other content I had to film as well, but it's coming. 
All right, now we're gonna go in with Mac Studio Fix. I'm in the shade NW43, and we are going to start first. I like to push it into my skin. Again, if you are someone who is drier skin, you might not like this. You might not like wearing powder, foundation. However, if you are team oily girl forever, <laughs> you will like this. It's super, super simple. Anyone can do it. You don't have to have a specific skill level. I've been really going in between my Maybelline Superstay powder and this one because I'm working really, really hard at using up my products. That is a goal for the year. Just using up what I got. And also, everyone else's skin needs are different. If you feel that you need a little color correcting, if you feel you need some liquid foundation, you do that. Lovely. All right, now we need to bring some dimension to the face, and I am going in with, where is, here we go. You guys know I'm back on my Shape Shifter palette. I use this shade right here. This one's way too dark. This made it into my January favorites because it's bomb. And I think I'm gonna go a little bit harder with contour today. Maybe a little bit pronounced and typically do. Little contour trick. I like to focus the majority of it in the back, starting fur back, farther back and then blending forward. If you start here and you start bringing it all the way across when you blend it out, you might get a little bit messy. So just focusing in the center of the ear, most of the product and then feathering out will give you a little bit more of a structured contour and it might not get so messy on you. I like to do my jaw. Not because I think it's large or anything, I just, you know, like to see a snatched jawline from time to time, you know? And since I've been wearing my hair forward, that means no forehead contouring. Y'all know I got a five head. And my hair, every time I part it, no matter what, it just always wants to fall for it going this way. So since it's been doing that, I haven't really been putting anything up there. So I just kind of go on the sides a little. Then I'll pinch my brush and go make sure I get right in that socket for the brow bone and the nose. All right, then for blush, we're gonna go in with my favorite, Meta Wine. Today's look is just gonna be super, super cute, flirty, girly. And then you already know, Laura Mercier Glow. Super, super easy base. Now I will go down the center of my nose, but I always wipe off if something lands on the tip, cause y'all know I don't play that. I do not like that look. Now I am going to take some facial spray. This is just to help everything look lift in anytime, especially because I do use a lot of powder. I'm kind of heavy handed. I always like to go in with the spray just to kind of make everything melt together and take away that powdery look. Although because I am so oily, Nine times out of 10, y'all, I don't really care too much about my powdery look because I know in about mm, 30 minutes it's gonna be gone. <laughs> All right, so I am going to fill in the brows and then we'll come back and we'll do the eyes. Voila, boom, look at that. Nice matte goodness. We're using the Juvia's Place Warrior Number no. Two palette. I love this palette. I have been saving this palette specifically for a Valentine's fun flirty look. So let's go ahead and prime the eye. I'm using the ooh, Urban Decay Primer Potion in Caffeine. You Jesus. 
priming my eye with my primer potion. And then this dries so fast. I never set my um, eyeshadow primer just simply because the Urban Decay one, it dries down. So there's no need for me to set it. I know a lot of people, they do that, but I feel like I don't have to with this one. That's why I never do that. So we're gonna go in with the first shade here in Dara. This nice, pretty tone here, taking a MAC 224 brush and starting right in the center of the lid. I like to pat it all over the eye first. And I know I'm patting it with a blending brush, but that is a-okay. So pat it all over the lid. So that way you get that intense pigmentation and then start blending it up. And I'm doing more of a rainbow shape. I don't know what Juvia's Place did, but they definitely did something as far as the formula of their eyeshadows. I wasn't the biggest fan of the Zulu and the Dunce palette. Like they were okay, but I just kind of felt like they were just a little dry and lackluster. I mean, I could work with it, but I felt like I had to really, really build with it the more I tried to play with it. But I don't know, the Masquerade Mini, the First Warrior palette, the Tri palette, they have definitely changed the formula because they are Fantastic. All right, next up, I'm taking my Morphe M514 brush here, and we're gonna go in with this, I don't know how to say that, so we're not even gonna do it. This brown tone right here, and this is going to go on the outer crease here, and I'm just kinda going back and forth, still keeping the rainbow motion. I'm not taking this into the inner crease just yet. More so focusing on the outside. So I like to focus more of the color. I want more of the color on the outside. So I'm gonna focus it there. And now I'm going to start pulling it into the inner because I don't want it too, too dark in there. Now I am gonna come back to my MAC 224 with the first shade. And I am gonna pull this up into the crease there. So I want those two colors to meet. I just want them to kind of blend together. Now for, to go a little bit above to blend, we're gonna go in with this shade right here. It's not gonna really show up that much on me, which is perfectly fine because I'm just trying to soften the blow. All right. That's it for the top portion. Now I'm going to line my top part of my eye with the, actually, yes, with the Kat Von D Lock It, not Lock It, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I haven't used this in a long time, probably like over a year, and I realized I don't like this anymore. I prefer either the Stila Huge Extreme, not Huge Extreme, the Stila Felt Tip, or my favorite favorite, the Sephora Felt Tip Liner, bomb $14. But I ran out of those two. I had one of these, so. This is what we're using, and I am going really, really close to my lash line. I'm not doing anything super, super thick. And then just, I mean, the tiniest, you guys know I'm not a crazy wing liner person, little baby wing. And then after that, leave it alone because the more you mess with it, the worse it gets. <laughs> Next up, we are going to take my Marc Jacobs Highlighter Eyeliner. And this is a dark brown pencil in the shade Earthquake. Then grabbing my Morphe M213. I like to use this on the lower lash. First, we're gonna go in with this beautiful burgundy tone here and we're just gonna run it right on the waterline. Then we're gonna go in with the black. Then wiping off that same brush. For the inner tear, we're gonna take this shade right here. And for the inner tear, you don't always have to do, I know I typically do something that's like a little bit more of a sparkle or a shimmer tone. You don't have to. Taking a light matte will give you a beautiful brightening effect too. Now listen, I was gonna throw on a lash because I was like, ooh, let me be super fancy. But um, I'm loving the way my lashes are looking. I know I'm probably the last person on YouTube to try this, but the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte, this was given to me by my client again. And um, 
I like this. So this is the mascara we're gonna be using for today. Ooh hoo hoo. All right, so those are the eyes. I love the way this looks. So pretty. We are going to, since everything on my face is legit matte, there's not a lot of shimmer going on, I'm gonna use a gloss. So we're gonna use the ABH lip gloss in the shade Amber. I haven't used an ABH gloss in so long, I forgot how much I love them. And this is actually more than my, like, my neutral shades I wear from them. Like, and these glosses are unlike a lot of other glosses. Like, these are pigment. Oh my gosh. This is our finished look. That is going to complete this simple Valentine slay. I hope you enjoyed it. And even if you don't have a Valentine, you can wear this look anywhere, anytime. It's just so pretty. All right, guys. So down below, let me know if you are enjoying these talk through tutorials. If there's any specific palette that you want to see a look with, please keep in mind, I am using palettes that I have. I'm not going out and buying any eyeshadow palettes for a really long time. So if you mention a palette and I got it, I will do a talk through look with it. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You know the deal. Keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.